what do you specify in terms of show as crap versus not crap uh all the star wars uh live action shows most of them 90 90 percent of them i think out of the eight that they put on last few years there's only one that is legit worth watching as far as i see it so don't watch any of the disney star wars series other than there's the one they put out which was pretty good right um so crap would be something that is like for me the mandalorian tv uh show the mandalorian star wars show was garbage just gar it was beautiful see the best thing about the show was the end uh, i watched the first season i i watched one episode a second i think if there was a second and i couldn't do it right at, at the end credits they show the the art that they use to create the scenes and that was the best thing of the show the dialogue in that show was the most low IQ thing I've seen it, it was vomit inducing right like one of the places that I decided almost to turn turn it off yeah Andor was good uh, thanks all to God uh, turn it off I, I just couldn't do it was you know these bounty hunter the robot bounty hunter comes along takes on all these people and the Mandalorian, one of the greatest bounty hunters, uh, uh, whatever, assassins and whatnot, he runs out of, everything's being shot up. And the Mandalorian runs from out of cover and goes, hey, buddy. And the robot shoots him. Like, that's, that was in the first season, I think. Like, that's, that's an insult. That's an insult, right? That's crap. Amazing shows, amazing shows. Uh, like uh, on that front marvel disney uh legion which came out a few years ago was a fantastic series tv series it was intelligent right um uh, mr robot the first three seasons were pretty good right really good you want amazing shows anime animation has some of the most amazing uh amazing content out there right uh you know when you're being insulted right like when you watch something you just go what the hell right uh, what's your thoughts on the boys tv oh the boys series one and two were good this series now it brutal man so bad I've, I've watched all of it i finished this series as well and i watched this series just to see see how insulting it was right because it started off good right i have some of the comics it started off good but then the creators came out and said if you don't like our show we're, we're you know it's what is it jim shooter said this perfectly right i saw a little short clip of jim shooter from a guy uh content creator i forget his name that i follow that uh, he has his own comic book company he creates content and stuff he showed a little segment of jim shooter saying look man a uh, comic book industry has forgotten what it means to create comic books and in general i'm paraphrasing the entertainment industry right they're using entertainment to push propaganda and no one wants to read propaganda or watch propaganda right so don't watch or read propaganda that should be one of the main rules right so he jim shooter basically came out and said look comic books are declining in interest because a lot of these writers and artists and companies they're pushing propaganda and no one wants to read prop i don't want to read propaganda even if propaganda geared towards what i like political ideology that i have i don't want to read propaganda i want to read entertainment if i'm reading a comic book or something intelligent and if you're going to dish out propaganda don't make it low iq propaganda at least package it in a way where you can go oh wow that's really good propaganda right that's what it is don't don't waste your time by by low iq hierarchical corporate hierarchical uh content that is being shoved down your throat that's that 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 destroys your soul that destroys the spirit right
Yeah, challenge yourself. Real Xenomorph says it. Challenge yourself. 